Hey, my friends. This recipe that I'm sharing with y'all on this video is, uh, I think it's going to be aired probably on Easter Sunday. So, it'd probably be a little late for you to make this for your meal, but if you're like our family, we, we always have ham for Easter, always, whether it's fresh or cured. Uh, it's going to be pork in some fashion. So, this is a great recipe uh, to take some of that ham that you had left over. And this is a hash brown quiche. Now, it's not like the hash brown casserole that so many of us know and love. Uh, this is gonna be a quiche. And that's my pie plate. <laughs> I don't have to tell you, do I? Where my pie plates are. <laughs> They're in storage. <laughs> That's right, man, storage. All right, so I've got, I started with three cups of thawed, and uh, I tell y'all to make sure you get all the water out of it. In fact, it's a great idea to take you some paper towels because we want this to get real crisp and it will be hard to get it that way if there's a lot of water in it. So, I'm going to, those, those look like bugs, don't they? <laughs> they're not, they're little brown pieces of potato that got left on there. But it does look like a bug. All right, now see how much water I'm getting out of that? Uh-oh. Amazing. Okay. Let's unwrap this. See? I mean, there was still a lot, a lot of water because we're using frozen hash browns. So, if they're frozen, you know they're going to have a good bit of water in them. So, we want to make sure that water gets gone. And I've got four tablespoons of melted butter. And then I'm gonna use some house seasoning to season this up. And that's gonna give me all my seasonings, my salt, my pepper, and my garlic. And I'm just gonna toss our shredded hash browns in with that butter. And I gave my pie plate, <laughs> use that term very, very loosely. Uh, I'm gonna press our hash browns into our plate. And you don't have to kill them, but you just kinda wanna press it down. And uh, I would really love for this to go up the sides a little bit, like you would think of a pie crust. Mmm. This is gonna be so good. Uh, you can serve this for breakfast or brunch or as a dinner meal along with a salad and you'd have a great meal. Okay, so that's it. We got our hash browns uh, put in there pretty good. Wait, and I looked over here and I wanna make sure I get them patted down really, really good. So these potatoes are going to get nice and brown and crisp. I'm going to put this in the oven at 450 degrees and I'm going to uh, bake it for about 20 minutes. And then I'm going to take it out and I'm going to mix together the ingredients for the quiche part of our recipe. So. See you in 20. Oh my goodness. Now the first 
part of our quiche is done. You can see where the hash brown started turning uh, lightly golden brown. So now we're gonna put the insides together and that's three eggs beaten. I can beat them a little better in this big bowl. And one cup of half and half. Half a cup of green onions. Let's see how much ham did we call for? Three fourths a cup of cooked diced ham. And if you didn't have ham for Easter, <clears throat> excuse me, if you didn't have ham for Easter and don't have any leftover ham at the grocery store, you can find this cubed ham. It comes in little cubes and bigger cubes. So uh, if you're wanting that ham, that's a good way to get just plain out old ham. And uh, I sure would like some more ham than that. All right, let's see now. I'm gonna add the cheese. Okay. So I'm gonna put all that cheese in. But I may come back. I may come back and uh, put some more cheese on top. Get out of there, you little piece of ham. Okie dokie. So now we're just gonna pour this over our crust. And we're just gonna have to imagine this being in a pie shell. <laughs> okay, so you wanna make sure you spread that out evenly. So when you cut it, everybody will get your share of ham and cheese and onions. Okay, so in the oven this goes 350. We lowered our oven temp to 350 and we're gonna bake it for 30 more minutes. So don't y'all think this is a great way to use that ham that you've got left over? Pan's still just a wee bit hot. <laughs> it's more than a wee bit hot. Look at this pretty quiche. Now you just have to imagine it being in a, a pie dish. So colorful. Isn't it pretty? This is one of those dishes, Eddie, that you can, I wanna make sure I get some of that tater. So good. Mmm. See that crust? Our potato crust. <laughs> I do know I love some potatoes. Mm. Oops. I about lost a tater. Mmm. about lose a little piece of pig. <laughs> now, if I was plating and serving this, I would top it with a dollop more of sour cream. You know, maybe sprinkle some more green onions on top and it's a beautiful, beautiful dish. And you got your starch, you got your veggies, you got your protein. You know, with the eggs and the and the meat, it's a delicious quiche. And I think that real men do eat quiche. <laughs> right, Eddie? Mm. Mm. So, uh, you know, I'm trying very hard to send y'all all the love and best dishes that I can. Oh, <laughs> 
I'm spitting it out, Eddie. Sorry about that. Um, uh, I'm so glamorous. <laughs> Love y'all. <laughs> Bye. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.